In this video, we're going to learn how to read and write whole numbers. So the table we can see on the board is a place value grid, and it basically shows us how we can write different numbers. So <clears throat> if I had the number 234, that would mean 2 in the hundreds column, 3 in the tens column, 4 in the units, and the other columns we would leave blank, or you could put zeros in them. So to start with, we're going to look at writing whole numbers in words. Another way of saying this is going from figures to words. So the first example is 1,524. So I've just read it out because we're often very used to just reading them out. But to put it into my place value grid, I can see that I have 4 in what's going to be the units column. I've got four units, so I'm going to put four in my units column. Um, to the left of that, I have two, so two in, two in my tens column, five in my hundreds column, and then one in my thousands column. And this helps me to understand how to say the number. I've got one, I've got uh, four in my units, two in my tens, five in my hundreds, one in my thousands. So I have got one thousand. I'm going to put a comma, 500, because I've got 5 in the hundreds column. And I have 2 in my tens column. 2 tens are 20. So I would say 20. And lastly, I have 4 in my units column. So I would say 1,524. <clears throat> For the second question... I have 0 in my units column, I have 4 in the tens column, 5 in the hundreds, 4 in the thousands, and then 2 in the tens of thousands. So reading this, I've got 2 lots of 10,000, which is 20,000. I've got 4 in the thousands, which is just 4,000. So that means I have 24,000. Twenty four thousand five hundred and forty. Lastly, I have a slightly more difficult number to sound out, but if I do it the same way, I should be fine. I've got two in my units column. I've got zero in my tens, zero in the hundreds, zero in the thousands, eight in the tens of thousands, seven in the hundreds of thousands, and then three in the millions. So here I actually have three million seven hundred and eighty thousand. Seven hundred thousand and eighty thousand makes seven hundred and eighty thousand. And finally, I have two in the unit, so I would have 3,780,002. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video, have a go, and then when you're ready for the answers, please press play. Here are the answers. So we can see here that we want to write numbers in figures. This is more often what we have to do. So the first question asks us to write 200,436 in figures, which just means in numbers. Now, reading the number, I have 200,000, which tells me I should put 2 in my, hundred thousand, in my hundreds of thousands column. I have 400, that's the next... Um, number which is mentioned, so I'm going to put 4 in my hundreds column, and that means it's going to be 0 tens of thousands, 0 thousands. I have 36, which is 3 tens and 6 units. So the number should be written as 200436. Zero, zero, 
Next, I want to write 3,430,207 in figures. To do that, I'm going to write 3 in the millions column. I have 430,000, so there's four hundreds of thousands. There are three tens, that, three tens of thousands, two hundreds, and seven units. I don't have any thousands, so there's zero in the thousands column, nor do I have any tens, so there's a zero in the tens column. Lastly, I want to write 7,034.5 in, fi in figures. Now, this lesson was entitled Reading and Writing Whole Numbers, but I just want to get you used to the idea that we also have tenths. So, seven thousands, seven in my thousands, in my thousands column, 34, three in my tens column, four in my units column, and the point five refers to five tenths. So, I put five in the tenths column. We wouldn't write it like this, though. We would write it with a decimal point. 7034.5. Here are some questions for you to try. Have a go at them, pause the video, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. 7034.5. 